Barack Kogan, Kane Fitzgerald, Pat Frere in the replay center. And away we go. Boston controls the opening tip in every game thus far in each of the first four. Celtics have had three big blowout victories, and it's Brown who gets the scoring started for us tonight. And we saw it the ball right to the rim. How about this last three playoff series between these two teams? The road team has won 13 of 18 since coming at you in waves, and their depth is really showing up here. Tatum with the strip, Tatum with the steal. White to Tatum. Kicks it to Brown. Brown drives on out of bio, and Brown scores again inside. Minutes in game four. Joe Mazzula told us that's about the sweet spot for him. 30, 36 minutes. As Jovic drives on at nine. Coming up on the first timeout shortly. White with a blow by. Goes right by right. White guarding right. And along right. He lays it up and in. Right. Score. I've had two games in the 80s in this series. White with a shot fake and drives and throws it down. Derek, White. what we're hearing is they, they're going to be very patient as they should. They have the kind of team that can, as Al Horford hits a three, maybe fight their way three in the box score for Boston. Off to this fast start here, and they lead it 21 to 13. Out of bio, back to back games in the playoffs now. Derek White guarded by Patty Mills, a couple of former Spurs. Oh, Derek White keeps it rolling. In a very familiar matchup, third consecutive year, these two have matched up in the playoffs. So Sam Hauser with that true stroke. Kevin Love guarded by Hauser. Love's had a tough time staying on the floor in this series. A little turnaround jumper is good. The Celtics have made baskets on nine consecutive possessions. Hauser to the floor. Martin saves it. Here's out of bio, and he's fouled. And count that. Had a big first quarter in game two. Tatum shot 38% during the regular year. Numbers are way down so far. Hauser lights it up again. And you have two chances in a game like this coming in, I think, Ryan. Number one, you just light it up from three. Or number two, the Boston Celtics. It looks like those two are on great terms, and they always have been. That was a tense moment, though, in game four as Adebayo pushes one in. Adebayo has had 20-point games in every one this series as Brown is fouled. Scores it. Major minutes through the second round, and he's been terrific all year. Three-pointer falls for Drew Holiday on a 14-2 run. And this crowd says bravo. Duncan Robinson, 59% from three-point range. Five to shoot, four to shoot. Bam out of bio gets the deflection and the steal. Martin up the head. White defends him. And Martin, a technical foul. Here's White. He drives it in. White lays it in off the glass. 17 for Derek White. Hero breaks free inside. Out of bio with a nice bounce pass. So they couldn't get it done, losing in overtime. Lost 2-1 to one in overtime. That game, game six, with the Bruins up 3-2, is out of bio on a lob from Hero. By the way, that game tomorrow's on TV. Just continues to tick up the ladder of the career year. Nice setup, Cornet, to Jalen Brown. Christophs Porzingis has been dealing with. He had to leave game four with that injury. Tatum gets it deep, scores on Patty Mills. 26. I mean, you know, that could probably be uh, up for some evaluation. Jeff Van Gundy, one of those consultants. Out of Iowa. The turnaround is good. By the way, Tatum has not been real successful in the few post-ups he's gotten in this series. DeLon Wright lays it in after he just at 25 in game four. He's putting together his best scoring game in this series here today. As Al Horford, strong inside, able to put it in. Unless something drastically changes here, Brian, he's not going to get a chance to extend that streak. And because of Eric Spolstra refusing to yield and coming up with a way to help him win, they've managed to 
stay extremely makes the effort to get over that screen and and contest that shot and block it. That's dominant mm. basketball. Man, Jalen Brown with the spin finishes with. This is a dominant disposition. The Celtics have brought to this. Making Jalen Brown probably the most underrated part of his game. Jalen Brown here. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Defender and there a great drive all the way to the rim. Here's Hauser. He drives it. Oh, Sam Hauser chased him off the line. Hauser able to finish it. And we've talked about it a lot in this series, but one of the big things that's happened to the Celtics, in my opinion, over the course of the year, to make. Remember one of the questions we have for Joe Mazzulla at the end of the regular season. Was Pritchard and his defense in the playoffs as Derek White keeps it cooking here. And there's that. Delon Wright playing with stitches, able to lay it in. I mentioned Jalen Brown moved into the to the top ten. Peyton Pritchard lays it in. Long, long, long time. Well, Jason Tatum jumped into that top ten. Tatum's eighth. Jalen Brown is tenth now. As Sam Hauser. Celtics will play the winner of Cleveland Orlando. Cleveland up 3 2 in that series. As Drew Holiday and a foul by Cornette. Getting his minutes. Playoff scoring leader in Celtics history. I remember him. He was a pretty good player. He was not bad. I know you weren't wondering that. Thomas Bryant going strong with a left hand. Well, Thomas Bryant, his problems have been a little bit on the defensive end throughout his career. But Thomas Bryant can score the basketball. Here's Holiday. Three-pointer is true. Steve getting his first minutes in game five. As Joe Mazzula goes to his bench, there's Highsmith. A little floater in the lane. In case you're wondering, the largest... Wade on the first time out here. Mihailuk drives, leaves it, and Tillman finds Hauser wide open. He doesn't miss many of those. Sam Hauser. Caleb Barton, five to shoot over Tillman, rattles one home. Experience with the Memphis Grizzlies even started quite a few games through some of their injuries there. So if they need him going forward. The point of view, the Van Gundy point of view has been on point. <laughs> the Van Gundy podcast. As we approach the five minute mark, look at Hauser. He's feeling free. Reigns in a three. A game. I was watching Celtics and Pacers one year when I was an assistant in Miami. We were here in Boston waiting to play the Pacers against the Heat. Now Jason's a great guy too. I love the guy. And the Heat have not been good from the land of milk and honey. That's no two. And they will win a home closeout game. And a little payback to the team that knocked them out a season ago. Oh, Pritchard. Wow, that had a little spice on it. Nicely done. Bryant on Pritchard. The high look. Gets the steal. Here is Springer and Springer able to lay it in. Yeah, getting some minutes early for Nick Nurse. He had had a great preseason, and they were giving him some minutes early in their year. And maybe your expectations for this offseason and what lies ahead for them. Well, they've got to make significant roster additions. They lost. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen days, Rajon Rondo, Kendrick Perkins. Good times here in Boston. As Bryant is fouled, he's got an and one coming here with 24 seconds left. And this crowd, very few have left. And they are up on their feet celebrating a round one victory. You got to put it in. You're hearing the whistles. Put the ball in play, and that'll do it. And the Boston Celtics advance to round two. They beat the Heat in five.